a toast to all of us who are breaking our backs every day. If wanting the good life is such a crime, a love then put me away. Musical, the music is the roadmap. The music is the reason to go. The late 80s songs are infectious. You can't listen to them and not sing along. It is all tribute, honor, and loving embrace. The energy and the beauty and the talent is all, it just, it's all right there. I need you guys to be amazing tonight, so start drinking now. I think Diego Bonetta ha had the biggest transformation. You know, he's a pop singer, and he sounds unbelievable in this movie. I had to retrain my voice to learn how to sing like a rock star in the 80s. It was a lot of hard work, but completely worth it. I really love working with Julian Huff. She's an amazing dancer, amazing actor. She has amazing pipes. I got to do some, like, seriously high notes and, like, growl off of it. That was just fun. Mary J. Blige was the first person that I wanted in the movie. Well, I had so much fun recording the songs for the movie. I mean, all these songs from the 80s, I grew up, you know, watching these videos. See, this club is totally out of control. It's gotta stop! And we're the ones who are gonna do it. Hit me with your best shot. Catherine is just fantastic to work with so easy to deal with. She'd worked so hard in the studio. With your best shot. And you see the performance and it paid off. The most exciting thing about having the time to rehearse is that you start to make it your own because predominantly it has to be your character. Love is like a bomb. Wouldn't it be cool if I got one of the biggest movie stars in the world, if I got one of the biggest rock stars in the world? Without Tom, it would just wouldn't have been the same movie. There's just nobody else who could have done this. I, I remember the first time we heard him sing, I knew it was going to work, because Tom inherently is a huge voice. He's got this outrageous four-octave range. Tom Cruise literally blew my mind. Take the bottle, shake it up. He played that character full on. I mean, he sang those songs, I and mean, he killed it. To see somebody of his magnitude doing Pour Some Sugar, I mean, actually singing it himself was pretty spectacular. Hey, hey, sugar me. There's a part of me that thinks that everybody wants to see these big movie stars just rock out. I think that's going to be the fun of this movie, is just coming to see Tom Cruise, Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, all these people belting out all these songs. Adam Anders, who is the best guy at doing mashups in the business now, mashed up Jukebox Hero with I Love Rock and Roll, and they weave together so incredibly and thematically. It's interesting because you, you try to take the parts of each song that are most iconic and then find a way for them to work together as one. They turn out amazing. I am someone who benefits from the idea that no one really expects me to sing. So the expectation being so low, I think I'm going to get by. Rock and roll. We built this city on rock and roll. The mashup, We're Not Gonna Take It, and We Built This City on Rock and Roll, was really put together by Adam Shankman to create a big riot scene at the climax of the movie where the Christian Coalition is trying to snuff out rock and roll and close the club, and the rockers are saying, we built this city on rock and roll. Each becomes the voice of each side, and I can't believe how brilliantly they all fit together. To be a part of such timeless, legendary records, it just means, it means so much to me, and I had a ball. Everybody's gonna wanna sing and dance in the aisles, I think. It's just a fun ride.
is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's gonna be epic.